So today we're gonna learn about ratios. So a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. Ratios can be written in three ways. So the three ways that we write a ratio is with the word two, so two to six. Sometimes we use a colon, two colon six, or a fraction, two over six. As with fractions, ratios are expressed in simplest form. So now we're on workbook page 22 and you guys are gonna follow along your book. So what we wanna do is we wanna write each ratio as a fraction in simplest form, then explain its meaning. So we're gonna do number two together. This says, Write each ratio as a fraction in simplest form. It says pennies to dimes. So there's three pennies, three pennies, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to nine dimes. So pennies to dimes is three to nine, but we need to simplify. So we could divide these both by three. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have 1 over 3 as our ratio of pennies to dime. This means the explanation would be that for every 1 penny, there's 3 dimes. Now we're going to go on to number 3. This says, last month, Ed ate 9 apples, 5 bananas, 4 peaches, and 7 oranges. Find the ratio of bananas to the total number of fruit, then explain its meaning. So we have five bananas, and we wanna find the total number. So to find the total, we have to add nine apples, include the five bananas, four peaches, and seven oranges. And that gives us 25. So we have five to 25, which we can simplify to one fifth. So what that means is for every one banana, there's 25 fruit, or for every 25 fruit, one of them is a banana. Next, we're gonna do number four. This says divide 28 cans of soda into two groups, so the ratio is three to four. So we want a ratio of three to four, but we want it to add up to 28 cans. So I'm gonna make a table with a bunch of ratios equal to 3 fourths. So we start off with 3 fourths. I'm gonna do some of the threes first. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'm gonna stop there for now. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we need, all of these ratios are equal to 3 fourths. So we have 3 fourths, 6 eighths, 9 twelfths, 12 sixteenths, 15 twentieths. Those all simplify to 3 fourths. So these are all equal. But we need one that adds up to 28 cans. So 3 plus 4, that would only be 7 cans. So that's not enough. 8 plus 6, that would give us 14 cans. So we still don't have enough. We want 28. 9 plus 12, that would give us 21 cans, that's still not enough. 16 plus 12 gives us 28 cans. So the ratio 12 to 16 is a ratio that is equivalent to three to four, but equals up to 28. So we would have 12 cans of soda in one group and 16 cans of soda in the other group because we're splitting them up into two groups. So 12 cans in one group and 16 cans in the other. That is a ratio of three to four and that's using all 28 cans.